Want to install Windows 10 or 11, but don't have a bootable USB? No worries. In just a few minutes, I'll show you how to create a bootable USB drive using Rufus, the fastest and easiest tool for the job. First, head over to the official Rufus website. Just Google Rufus Download, click on the first link, and download the latest version. It's lightweight and doesn't even need installation. Now plug in your USB drive. Make sure it's at least eight gigabytes. Open Rufus and it will automatically detect your USB. If you have multiple drives connected, double check that the correct one is selected. If you choose a device that contains important data, it will be formatted. To avoid data loss, first verify the drive. Here's how. Open this PC, check the USB drive label, and match it with the device selection in Rufus. As you can see here, in my case, the USB device is labeled Technical Junaid USB, and the same label appears in Rufus. This confirms that the correct drive is selected. In the boot device selection, choose Disk or ISO image, then click on Select. Navigate to the location where you've saved the Windows 10 or Windows 11 ISO file and select it. Wait for a while as Rufus verifies the ISO file. In the Image Options section, select Windows Standard Installation. This is where many people get confused, but I'll make it super simple. Just follow these steps carefully to understand it easily. First, open the Disk Management Utility by right-clicking on the Start menu and selecting Disk Management. Once Disk Management is open, select the disk where your current operating system is installed. Then, right-click on the selected disk to proceed. Click on Properties. Now go to the Volumes tab, and here you'll see the partition style listed as either GPT, GID Partition Table, or MBR, Master Boot Record. Take note of this because you'll need to select the same partition scheme in Rufus. If your drive is GPT, choose GPT in Rufus. If it's MBR, select MBR. This step is crucial to ensure your bootable USB works correctly with your system. Once this is done, you don't need to make any changes in Rufus. Simply leave all settings as they are and click on a start to begin the process. A Windows user experience window will pop up. Here you can choose to bypass Windows 11 requirements like TPM 2.0, Secure Boot, and setting up with a Microsoft account. One of the biggest advantages of using Rufus is that it allows you to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. If your PC doesn't meet Windows 11's official requirements, Rufus gives you the ability to bypass them easily. Customize these settings according to your needs, then click OK to proceed. Now a warning window will pop up. This is your last chance to avoid data loss on the selected USB drive. If you've accidentally chosen the wrong drive, double check and select the correct one. To verify, match the USB drive label with what's shown in Rufus. Once you're sure, click OK to proceed. Now wait for the writing process to complete. The time it takes depends on your system's processing speed, so please be patient and avoid interrupting the process. You can continue using your computer for other tasks while Rufus runs in the background. Once you see Ready and Rufus, your bootable USB is successfully created and you're all set to install Windows 10 or Windows 11. So friends, this was a tutorial on how to create 10 or Windows 11 using Rufus. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest tech tips and tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.